All right, so this is the instructional video on how to set this up. So this is it, completely hollow. And um, this screw right here is, is just to like hold this in place. So you can tighten that up if it gets a little bit too loose. Just make sure it doesn't go through all the way um, through there or else the blade won't uh, be able to go inside. But it shouldn't have a problem because um, I've cut it flush with that um, with that side. So that's one. Uh, this right here, this screw is a 440 screw, uh, set screw, and that holds also this blade holder in place. Uh, so you don't have to really touch that at all. Um, that's pretty much permanent. Don't need to mess with that unless you want to take your blade holder out. Um, this screw also acts as a blade holder, uh, but it's also what you're going to use mainly as your um, blade plug or blade holder. So you screw this in all the way. Let's see, and see that little that little section right there. That's going to press against the uh, the blade plug. It's going to keep it in place and it's also going to press against the blade and keep that in place so we'll just leave that one unscrewed for right now okay cool now inside here this is going to be your chassis retention screw which i already have it here i don't know what the size of the allen key is um, but this is an, another 440 set screw it goes in here once we have the chassis in place and it holds the chassis so it doesn't move around now this button right here that's what's gonna be seeing there it's right where my finger is inside the chassis okay so that little thing is going to press up against this ignition button that's the ignition button so as soon as you press that uh, it'll turn on so that's what you need to align it okay so the only way to align it is give it a more or less look like around there and just sometimes it could accidentally hit the um the wall of the of the hilt and press it that's fine um so you just put it in there sometimes it can ignite it but Oh, and this is the accent LED that you were asking me about. So we'll put that in there and that goes in a little bit like so. And then uh, about that deep. And then you can put in your pommel cap and put it on. And then you can, with your finger, you can press down just a, a little bit so it's a little flush. And hopefully, there you go, it'll turn on. So that's great. Once you once you have that, that you know it's aligned and it turns on, uh, you can go ahead and screw in place that 440 set screw. It's not really resistance sometimes in there, so it's just there to like keep the chassis from moving around. And then there you have your tri -Cree. then or your um, Tri-Rebel. Um, here's your blade plug. That'll just slide right in there, in place, like so. Let me just, I think I tightened this up a little bit beforehand. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, so, I tighten that up. You can go ahead and re-tighten that, and re-tighten this. And that's it. Now your blade plug is in place, and you can just go ahead and turn on your blade. All right, so we'll turn it off. To turn it off, you just press and hold. Okay, and to cycle through the fonts, just press and hold until you hear a beep. Oh. Try it again. And then that's another font. So it sounds a little bit different. Okay, 
press and hold, and that turns it off. And then press and hold again for the third one. My ally is the force, and the powerful ally it is. And then when you turn it on, he's gonna talk. You must learn what you have learned. And that's just part of the sound font. And then when you turn it off, he's going to say a, a, a quote to end it. This quiet is upon me, and so light must fall. And that's it. So press and hold again to go back to the first font. Size matters not. That's, that's the first one. So that's it. And the same goes for when you're putting in a blade. Instead of the blade plug, you just put the blade in. Um, so that's it. So let's just take it apart one more time. So to take it apart, just loosen up that bottom one and the top, the top one. Just give it like one twist, a little shake, and that comes off. And then you un, you just remove this set screw completely, carefully because it's really small and you can lose it. I like to just keep that on the actual Allen key. Then you can remove your pommel cap. And then with your finger in here, you can just lightly press it and it comes out. And that's it. Now, um, this light, it's just there to, for looks. And uh, eventually it'll turn off because this sound card has an automatic deep sleep. That's what's kind of cool about this uh, soundboard. As, uh, I'll, ha I'll have a supplied uh, kill key that goes into the recharge port right in there. Uh, it's one of these. One of those key, one of those little kill keys is going to go inside um, that recharge port in there, and that'll just kill power if you want to. But this will automatically, after three minutes or so, it'll just immediately shut off, and there'll be no more power. And then you'll turn this on just once. And that'll automatically wake up the board and that light will start uh, flashing, telling you that the board is active and live. When it's not flashing, it's just power's dead. So to charge it up, um, you're, I, I'm supplying you with the uh, recharge port. I mean with the uh, recharger, the charger. And this has a, for your regular um, 2.1 millimeter charge, ports that are on most lightsabers. Uh, this one I opted to use a really small one to save on space. So you just connect that to there and you use this one which is 1.3 millimeters that goes right here very gently and the uh, it'll start uh, charging it up. And then as you can see as soon as I put it in the light stopped flashing that means that there's no power to the board this is just uh, charging the battery right now. As soon as I take this off, it'll wake up the um, sound board. So let's put it back in. Remember to um, align that button, this button with that button as best as you can. If it turns on, it turns on. It didn't turn on this time. That's good. Okay, and then I like to put in the pommel cap. And then, let's see if it works. Yeah. And then we'll put in the set screw. This time there was like a little bit of resistance. It's just the chassis moves here or there, but resistance would be, is good. Alright, cool. And then finally, your blade plug. Put this back in place. Um, just align this shroud. Tighten that. Alright. And align that and then tighten this up. And you're good to go. And like I said, you can just leave it like this. You don't have to 
go through the let's say you're using it and you turn it off you don't have to go through the whole ordeal to take it out and put the kill key on that's what's cool about the mbv4 you just leave it like this all my lightsabers that have this uh soundboard i've left them in in my display box just like this for months at a time i turn it back on perfectly because it, it, it there's a very 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 low drainage on that battery uh, a friend of mine has had my has has had one turned off for a year and he turned it on and it perfectly fine so anyway uh, that's it that's the saver very small little thing and highly accurate this is really cool I'm gonna really miss this one um, so yeah shoot me an email uh, if you come run into any problems which I really doubt uh, but but yeah this is a complete vintage one remember uh, lay off the uh, <laughs> the uh, hard dueling with that one like dueling little showing off is okay but uh, this is thin metal and uh, it's from like the 40s or 50s and um, yeah this is it all right Thanks a lot.